All right guys, so the first thing that grandma's gonna do is she's gonna put in the ricotta cheese into the pan here. Now you can mix this in a bowl and then put it in the pan, but just to make things a little bit easier, we're gonna mix it right here in the um, pan and then stick it in the oven as is. And of course, as usual, I'll leave all of the ingredients and the measurements in the description box down below. So make sure you just click right below the video and you'll see everything so you can put this dish together. And now grandma's gonna go in with her sugar and she's gonna mix it all together with the ricotta cheese. And this is really to taste. If you want it really sweet, add more sugar. And if you don't want it sweet at all, then you can add in less sugar. But I'll leave you guys a measurement of how much about we used in the description box as well. Essence. And what, what kind of essence are you using? Just vanilla, vanilla, pure vanilla. But you could use like the Guyanese mix essence use, or... You um, could use almond essence or whatever you, you prefer. Okay. But this is the one that we're using today. Just in case any of you guys want to know. Corp from Costco. Yeah, so once you guys mix it all together, give it a quick taste. See if it has enough sugar to your liking. If it doesn't, then you can add more. And what are we going to do now with this? Put them in the oven. At 350? 350, like in 20, 25 to 40 minutes. Okay. So we'll time it and we'll tell you guys exactly how long mm -hmm. it takes. Good. That's it. And you covered or no? No. Leave it on. Covered. Okay. Okay. You want to say this stuff? No. No. <laughs> now we're um, approximately finished. Now you're gonna mark it, and then you put you throw the the sweetened the carnation milk with the sugar. Okay. And you throw it, you put it on and so it, it um, soak. So this was baking for what, like 45 minutes to an hour yes. almost? Yes. So you let it bake that long, get a little bit of golden brown on the edges. Right. You're gonna mark it up once it's, it's nice and firm. As you guys can see, it's not jiggly or anything like that. It's firm. Right. And, and you, you throw, throw the milk, the sweetened carnation milk. So this is just um, evaporated milk with a little bit of sugar. Sugar, right. And if you wanted to, you can mix condensed milk with it, however you want to do it. You could right. put more spices in it. Um, but this is the way grandma always makes it. You see loose up? You yeah. See? So if you leave this um, overnight, overnight it'll soak up better. Right. It'll be nice and firm, especially if you leave it in the fridge, and then you can top it with anything that you want. So tomorrow morning when we let it sit and we let it soak, we'll show you guys what the end product looks like. <clears throat> this is a rasmali that we make, and a sprinkle some pumpkin um, seeds on it. <laughs> yep. And that's it, quick and simple. Right. Um, I'll put some in the thing for your care, right? Okay.